I'll tell you how, what we're doing here. Basically, I got that prop in. I used, uh, I did buy the propeller, it was $3.50. Uh, and then for the shaft, I used a part of the uh, helicopter, uh, as well as the rudder. The rudder was actually an aileron in the in the helicopter. Um, so I got that. Um, I made basically I made a kind of a rectangular hole, then epoxied the shaft in, um, and it, the epoxy will hold it very well. And this is the two-part liquid epoxy. And for for this area, I used some uh, epoxy putty. Now, <clears throat> this is the motor from the helicopter. Uh, I was basically mounted that with this uh, galvanized sheet metal. I think it's 22 gauge, and epoxy that as well. Uh, now this U joint, I bought that that was uh, at the hobby store for around five bucks I believe and then here is the servo uh, from the helicopter as well and that turns the rudder and also I used parts from the helicopter to build that uh, that rudder. It has the this little tube is uh, carbon fiber and that's from the um, from the tail of the helicopter. Now I'm messing with the weight. I did install a couple of weights here. Uh, these are made of metal, and these are actually what they use on the underside of uh, uh, keyboards to make them weighted, to have that weighted feel. And it's just steel. And basically what I'm going to do is put this thing in water and start weighing it down. I may put some more weights here. For the top of the boat, I got some of this foam from Home Depot. And uh, I just basically traced it. This actually came out. I didn't like this, this particular one. I wanted a little bit more space up on top where I could... Uh, or I could round this off like that. So I redid it and came up with this. Now this is all just sanded with a with a 120 grit. And I made this little ridge here where I'm gonna apply the uh, epoxy eventually. So this fits pretty nice. And once I epoxy it, I'm gonna fill these these cracks in with bondo. And in fact, I'm gonna bondo the whole thing just to have a, a seamless joint here. And and I'm, I'll keep sanding it too. Um, it's still a little too thick, I think. But it's you know it's looking good so far. It's not bad. I'm also gonna put. Um, uh, some sort of a windshield here maybe I'll make something out of glass and metal that would be pretty cool so I'm gonna put this in the water and and see how it floats and um, I'm gonna keep adding or taking out weights uh, just to get a nice stance for this boat alright put the boat in here and see how it does yeah, so it's not bad, but it's still going to need a lot of weight. <clears throat> I have this two-part epoxy. This is what I've been using for basically the whole boat. Okay, well, there we have it. Some weights in, and I'm going to let that epoxy dry. Drill these holes in the foam here very carefully. And uh, now I'm going to put these weights in there like so. I'm going to mix a little bit more epoxy I just put a little bit in there so that uh, these things will stay put even when I turn the boat around I can't get enough of this stuff guys it's pretty awesome it'll bond everything to everything pretty much and it's waterproof and it's rock solid when it, when it dries 
so I've been really happy with it. Just put a little bit in there. Okay, well I'm going to let that dry and uh, see how it behaves in the water. Uh, it's pretty good, I think I like it. It's more balanced. Uh, it could be lower, but uh, you know, I'm still going to add the battery and the uh, receiver. So that'll give it a little bit more weight, but I'm happy with that for now. I had to extend the servo cable to go all the way to the front where the receiver will be. Uh, probably right about there. There's the receiver, receivers in, connected to the motor. Now this this other lead, it was for an, a different motor for the one for the tail, um, which is this this little guy right here. And that's interesting because I could do something crazy with it if I wanted to. And of course I still have one more servo that I could use here, but uh, for now this is fine. Uh, so I got my just my rotter right now, but it'd be cool maybe on the for the other servo to put some some flaps back here, but we'll see. Uh, first I'm just curious on how it's gonna how it's gonna run. So let me fire it up and see uh, see what it's doing here. Well, it has quite a lot of power outside the water, of course. When you put it in the water, it's a different story. But man, I didn't even, like, I'm afraid to push full throttle because this thing may just disintegrate, uh, especially out of the water. But uh, it's pretty good. I like it. I'll push it into about uh, half throttle right now. So it is creating a lot of turbulence here in the water. I'm going to try to turn it. So, oh, and it's, I mean, it's got quite a lot of thrust. See, it looks like I have a little bit of water down there, but it's fine and it's not reaching the motor. I can feel it down there. It's it's quite a lot. I mean, it feels like like a jacuzzi jet almost. And the rudder's working. Just after that small uh, test in the in the cooler here. I went to touch the motor and it's quite hot. It's, I mean, it was it, it it would burn my fingers. Now, the battery also, you know, pretty warm. So, I'm definitely stressing this system. So far, I'm happy with this. Uh I think I'm just going to go ahead and do the top and for right now, even though it's heating up and stuff, just leave the motor as is and just run it as is and see what happens. If anything, I'll just replace the guts. This is right behind my buddy's house. And, well, I see a turtle. So, it can't be too bad. Alright guys, I'm going to try this thing in the water. Um, I just put some tape here to prevent the top from flying off or whatever. 
So, let's get back there to the creek and see how this does. Well guys, we did good. I gave this a uh, little bath here with some clean water. Um, you know, I'm pleased with it. Uh, I'm definitely overloading the motor and the ESC, the speed controller probably, because look at this battery. It's just, it's just had it. And you know, the first time I, um, I took it to the water, it had a lot more power.